Now that we have the heads tightened up, uh, the next step we want to do is connect, reconnect the sensing lines. And then I'm going to connect the, mon the monitor sensing line. Next step is first install the monitor spring. Now we can install the worker spring. You'll notice too that under the spring adjuster there's a washer, friction washer. Just keeps the spring from binding up. Okay, we're now ready to put the regulator back in service. I want the line loose and I want the downstream valve for the worker shut off. This will make my worker wide open because it's not sensing pressure and allow me to set my monitor. We're going to set the, the worker at 2 pounds, so the monitor is going to be set at roughly 2.2 .2 pounds. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust the monitor regulator on the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is turn, slowly turn the pressure on to the regulator. You'll notice that the outlet pressure is approximately at 2.1 pounds. I'm going to increase that to 2.2, 2.2 pounds on the monitor. We're at 2.2 pounds. Now that the pressure is steady, we're going to make sure that our monitor regulator locks up. So we're going to shut the downstream gas off. And you can see we locked up at approximately 2.26 pounds. Now we're going to bring the monitor back into service again. The monitor is now working again at 2.2 pounds. We're going to now tighten the sensing line on the worker. We're going to open the downstream worker control valve line. The monitor should now go wide open. The pressure should start to drop. And now the worker regulator is taken over to 1.58 pounds. Now we're going to take our worker regulator up to 2 pounds. Now we're at 2 pounds. Now we're going to check up the lockup of the worker by shutting off the downstream side line. You can see our lockup is at uh, 2.09 pounds. So we know our worker is now locking up. Now we're ready to put it back into service. And that's all there is to setting the regulators. Wrap it up and uh, go on to the next job.